Hi everyone, welcome to this video on getting started with the Syncfusion Flutter area chart. In this video, you will see how to add the Syncfusion Flutter charts package to a Flutter project and add the Cartesian chart to the project. You will learn how to set a data source to the chart and how to add an area series to it. Then I will explain how to customize the primary axis, add a title, and show data labels, legends, and tooltips in the area chart. First, open the VS Code editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add an area chart in this app in place of the text and button widgets. To do so, first, I need to import the Syncfusion Flutter Charts package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency Syncfusion underscore Flutter underscore charts using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command flutter pub git to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the charts.dart library so that you can use the chart widget in this file. Let's write the area chart related code within the my homepage state class. Remove the code in the my homepage state class for better clarity. Override the build method and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the chart within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF Cartesian chart widget so that you can add the area series to it. Other Cartesian series like column, stacked, and scatter can also be rendered using this widget. You can see tutorial videos on those chart types in my upcoming videos. Save the file. The hot reload feature loads the application in the Android emulator. You can see the Syncfusion Flutter chart rendered with default X and Y axis in my application. Now, let me show you how to create an area chart for sample sales data. For that, create a class named Sales Data. Create a field of type double and name it year, and create another double field to store sales values. Create a constructor for this class that receives the parameters year and sales. Next, I need to create a chart data source and bind it to the chart. To do so, create a method that returns a list of sales data, get chart data. Within it, create a chart data field of type list of sales data, chart data, and assign a collection of sales data. Here I have set the sales data from year 2017 to 2021. Return the chart data collection. To set this data to the chart, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type list of sales data. To initialize the chart data field, override the initState method. Within it, initialize the chart data by calling the method getChartData which will return the sales data collection. Now, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, set the series with a chart series collection and set the area series by passing the types as sales data and double. Also, you can add more series here, but I'm keeping this chart simple with just one series. Set its data source property with the chart data object that we just created. Next, you need to map the data for the x value and y value. So, use the x value mapper property and set the year field. This will plot all the year values on the x axis. In the same way, use the y value mapper property and set the sales field. Now, everything is set. Save the file to see the changes in the chart. You can see the area chart in the application. The x axis holds the year value and the y-axis holds the sales values. You can notice here that the last label is placed outside the chart area. To render the label within the chart area, in the chart widget, add the primary x-axis property, set the numeric axis class, and set the edge label placement property with the value edge label placement dot shift. I use the numeric axis because the x-axis value type is double. I will explain the chart axis types in a later video. Save the file now to see the changes in the x-axis. You can see the last value is rendered within the chart area. Since I am showing currency data, I need to format them as currency values. 
To do this, first import the package intel.dart. In the chart widget, add the primary y-axis property, set the numeric axis class, and set the number format property with the number format class's simple currency constructor. Set the decimal digits as zero so that no decimal points will be displayed in the y-axis. To show the values in millions I need to append the values with the million character M. To do so, add the label format property and set the format string to show the value and the million character M. This will show the value along with the character M in the chart y-axis and in the data label values. If you want to add a suffix to data labels alone, you can use the on data label render callback. Save the file and you can see the y-axis values are now formatted as currency values which use the US dollar format by default. We will now add data labels to the chart. To do so, in the area series class, set the data label settings property with data label settings class and set the is visible property to true, so that the data labels will be visible in the chart. Also, you can add more settings like alignment, angle, and many more. For this example, I'll keep the data label simple and then save the file. You can now see the data labels in the chart. Next, let me show you how to add a title to the chart. In the SF Cartesian chart widget, add the title property, set the chart title widget, and set its text property with a title. You can also add background color, border color, alignment, and text style. Save the file to see the changes. You can see the provided title in the chart widget. You can also show legends in the chart by adding the legend property in the chart with the legend class and setting the is visible property to true. Save the file and you will be able to see the legend at the bottom of the chart. You can see the name is series zero since this is the first item in the chart series collection. You can change the series name by setting the name property in the area series class. After setting the name property, save the file and you can see the series name changes to sales. Finally, let me show you how to enable tooltips in the area series. First, I need to create a tooltip behavior object and assign it to the chart. So, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type tooltip behavior, and in the init state method, initialize the tooltip behavior object with the tooltip behavior class and set the enable property to true. Now, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, add the tooltip behavior property and set the tooltip behavior field. This enables tooltips in the chart widget. To show the tooltip in the area series, in the area series class, set the enable tooltip property to true. Now, save the file. Tap on a data point, you can see the tooltip. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Charts widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to set a data source to the chart and then plot the data as an area series. You also learned how to customize the primary axis, add a title, and show data labels, legends, and tooltips in the area chart. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, Click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.